I just started filming like a vegan series just then and I just felt like, I don't know, I just didn't want to film that today and I was going to do a follow up video next week about like all tips that I've done to alleviate my anxiety and depression in the past. So I was like piecing the video together just then and thought today's video would be a really good opportunity to actually show you what I do instead of like sitting down in front of the camera and talking about it. I can actually show you guys everything that I've done in the past to alleviate my anxiety and stress and how you can get back to just that confident, happy person that you originally were. So as you guys seen this morning, I like to start my day on a good note. So the best way I found is having my headphones and my gratitude journal beside my bed. So every morning it's there and it's no excuse to not be able to do it. I've got this really good app at the moment called Pause and I find it's a really good meditation app to use. So a lot of people avoid meditation because they just believe they're not good at it but with anything it takes practice and after I've done my 10 minutes worth of meditation I then grab my gratitude book and I write 10 things that I'm grateful for and this really sets the tone for my day and I feel like I always have a better day when I start my day this way Another thing that I like to do while I get ready, I'm just having my smoothie for breakfast at the moment. So what I like to do while I'm getting ready for my day is I literally just go onto YouTube. You can choose whatever you like and you just type in motivational videos. Um, sometimes I just scroll through, just look, start your day right. Perfect, that's exactly what we're doing today, so. Let's win respect. And I like to pop that on where I'm getting ready for the gym or getting ready for when I just get ready for work. It's really good at motivating you for the day and just getting off your ass and starting your day right. So. <laughs> Do you want to say hello to everyone? Oh, hello. Look at this, guys. I'm, I've got my three dollar twenty apple juice. And oi, let me show them this, babe. Yeah. This is we could just vlog like this, babe. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, guys. It's pea protein with coconut water, chocolate flavour, 20 grams per serve. No, no excuse to not be vegan, eh? Never? Yeah. What do you like? You like desserts? Alright, you've got desserts. <laughs> Best so, last cream. So, just to look how happy he is, guys. Last week, everything that I showed you so far that we've done this morning, JD's done this week, whereas last week, he was quite emotional and he wasn't having a very good time last week. So he yeah. is doing the motivational speeches, he's writing in his gratitude journal, and yeah, he's really. also meditating as well. So this just goes to prove, it, you can change your mind within a day, within a second. You have the choice. Yeah, a split second. If you go, all right, that's not the negative behavior, I'm going to now be positive, it'll change. Yeah, and it's instant as well. Like, look how happy you are now, babe. What to say is I've got off social media. Yeah. Do not get on social media because you just compare yourself to everyone else and it's not good. Yeah. I'm just making the most of this experience. It's happened for a reason. We've been given it for a reason. So. Exactly. All right, say bye to everyone. Bye, love ya. I've just gotten back from the gym and this is going to be my next tip for you guys is move your body, get outside and go and find an exercise that you enjoy. So it doesn't mean if you hate the gym, go and sign up to the gym. Go and join some like group classes. I've heard F45 is like really good way to like start socializing and push yourself outside your comfort zone by joining something that you're gonna enjoy and take something away from. Moving your body is a massive thing for alleviating stress and anxiety because every time you exercise, you're serotonin and good endorphins. Serotonin is the sleep hormone and this will help you sleep better at night because if you're anything like me, when I'm anxious and stressed, I don't sleep properly and when I don't sleep properly, I get worse, I get more anxious and more anxiety as well. So going to show you guys this is like our little stash of books here we either have books on veganism health um jd has a couple on like autism for his occupational therapy or we have self-help books i'll grab them out and i'll pop them on the bed my favorite books. okay so these are probably my top favorite books for like self-help books here's just a few that i love i love this one because i love taking this one to the beach or i love starting my morning off with this it's just called think positive thoughts every day so every time you open it it's all different types of like affirmations and I just like grab them out and it's like okay this is the one I need to read today but this is the book you can heal your life by Louise Hay really really good book so highly recommend getting this book this one was a really good book for me it's called don't sweat the small stuff it's literally just about not worrying about the small little insignificant things in your life yeah just get over the small stuff and just get on with your life basically Anthony Robbins I actually haven't read this book I rather listen to Anthony Robbins because I really like the way he speaks so I listen to a lot of his podcasts highly recommend going and watching Anthony Robbins I'm not your guru 
Mastering Your Mean Girl. It's the No BS Guide to Silencing Your Inner Critic. So I found this book really good at teaching you how to be kind to yourself and not be so hard on yourself as well. Also learning to love yourself as well. So this is another really good book that I'd highly recommend by Melissa Ambrosini. And currently I have been reading The Surrender Experiment. It's my journey into life's perfection. So this one's by Michael A. Singer. And this book's like a true story. And he talks about how he has so much chatter in his mind. He just talks a lot about meditation and how it improved his life and how it kind of like silenced his brain more and calmed him down. So really resonated with this book so far. Okay, so for my next tip, I want you guys to make sure that it's definitely nothing to do with like a medical reason. Getting your blood test done and making sure that all your levels are all okay is a really good suggestion as well because you could be lacking in something which could be making your anxiety worse but things that have been known to help with anxiety and depression in the past is a vitamin called niacin so you guys have probably seen that we have taken niacin for quite a long time now it's actually a high concentration of b3 the one that we get um it does give you like a hot flush so if you are going to order niacin just make sure you get one without the hot flush because it's a very uncomfortable feeling i would highly suggest bumping up your vitamins because with stress and anxiety it will lower your immune system so bumping up your vitamins will make sure that you're on top of all your levels but yeah, definitely suggest going and getting a blood test just to make sure that everything's all right. So as it comes to the end of the vlog, it is tea time and it is wine down time before bed. So I've got my licorice root tea. I like to have tea before bed because I just feel like it's like my last thing that I get to have before bed. It kind of like is telling my body that it's time to get into that zen mode before bed. If I am feeling really wired up, I'll usually have like a sleepy time tea and that'll help put my body into more of a relax. And as you guys saw as well, I like to have my diffuser on and then I put some like lavender drops in there, really helps. I like to put the crystals inside my pillow because I'm a big believer in crystals and I love my crystals and if I'm feeling stressed throughout the day I'll sometimes put like crystals in my bra but yeah that's pretty much what I like to do and it's my last and final tip and I think it's one of the most important tip is making sure that you get enough quality sleep and making sure that you're going to bed and you're not wired up after a like stressful day and if I find if I don't sleep properly my anxiety gets so much worse so making sure you get a really good night's sleep is a very important thing to do. If you guys want to leave some comments down below of things that work for you, that'd be awesome. So if you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up, guys. Comment below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. And I only have six months to live, and at the time, like, I'll probably get upset because I don't really talk about it, but at the time, it's like, you, how do you fathom that? Like, six months is so quick to be, ha like, having to process all these emotions and